Well, that was a that was just a gut wrenching loss because we we felt like we were we put ourselves in a position to win. We basically controlled the entire game and had a lead. I think we led as much as ten or twelve in the second half, and and just just to let them come back and 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 get us there at the end. That's, that's a tough loss, and 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 moving forward in league play, we've got. You know, one of the you know, one of the better teams, if not the best team in the league, coming in here Saturday, and we we've got to find a way to not let this game and how this game ended affect Saturday. It won't be easy to do, but that's what we've got to do. You had that 12 point lead about midway point in the second half. What was the difference either in, in what you guys were doing, and what they did over the last uh, four games? Well, we we were trying to change our defenses up, and and they went to they went to a small lineup. They had four guards, and they played a you know played one big guy with them, and they just really. They they controlled the, the paint. I mean, we we had no answer, man or zone, uh, for them driving the ball in the paint. And particularly Dante Thomas, he leads the league in assists, and he was he was fantastic tonight. He controlled the game. He had 20 points, 10 assists. He's you know he's 0 for 7 on threes coming in to the game, and he nails a huge three uh, as they're coming back there. And, and that was you know that that was tough because now you got to stretch out and guard him a little higher. And, and he was really good off the dribble. But just look at points in the paint. I mean, they had. They had so many. They had 42 points in the paint, and that came from him driving it and dropping it off to people. He had 10 assists, and and the other thing he did was they had a stretch there where it felt like every time every time they drove it, he was drawing fouls too. Something to build off. You had five players in double figures, good balance scoring. It wasn't just you know one or two guys leading the way. It's something you can build on right there. Yeah, we were we were pretty good offensively. I mean, we shot 44 percent, and then we're probably shooting closer to 50 percent until the end of the game. I thought we tightened up a little bit at the end of the game. Uh, they made one really good adjustment on a play, uh, on, a, on a critical play when we had a one-point lead in the ball, and they switched a little a, a screen we had just scored off on, a, on the same play. And, and even with that, John made a good decision, and John got to the rim and missed, and I think Jordan missed a put-back dunk. Uh, so, so you know, we were pretty good offensively, but, but we needed to be better defensively tonight. And then the other area that stands out that, that we, we missed, you know, we missed, we gave away too many points at the free throw line. I mean, we hit some free throws down the stretch, we win the game. Wednesday night game gives you an extra off day before Saturday. What do you what do you use that day for to help prepare for the rock? Well, we just got to you know we got to as coaches we've got to get in there and dig in and, and figure out you know, you know how to play Little Rock because they're such a unique opponent. They're totally different than Arkansas State. I mean they're one of the best, if not the best, defensive teams in the country. Defensive field goal percentage. They they play a, a really you know they're they're really good defensively and they're holding teams uh, down in the 50s. So uh, it, it'll be a It'll be a tough, you know, a tough challenge, but we've got to get back up. League play is, is you know, you, you, you can't get high, too high or too low. You can't get on that roller coaster and you got to find, you got to find consistency right down the middle and, and we've got to bounce back from tonight's game.